At least eight people have been confirmed dead in the ongoing flash floods that have left many stranded in Kasese district. <laughs> The disaster started last week when River Nyamwamba and River Mubuku broke their banks following a heavy downpour. State Minister for Relief and Disaster Preparedness, Musa Echeru, confirmed the deaths. The six bodies have been fortunately retrieved in now. At least we have, they, we are, it is unfortunate that we lost them, but we have been able to retrieve it from the running waters uh, and have been given befitting burial one of a child and five adults. The other two were children who passed on while being relocated from Chilembe Hospital to a safer site for medical attention. <laughs> the number of those severely affected and displaced is also rapidly increasing, currently standing at 7,000 according to the ministry, although the Uganda Red Cross estimates the figure at 10,000 people. <laughs> Government is also seeking to immediately establish a camp once a safe place has been surveyed and identified. It is true that from our reading now as I talk to the country, we are considering establishing a camp. What we have done is to temporarily put all the victims of the lower and the upper Kilembe Valley while putting them in Kasese Primary School. But I want to say this is very temporal. About 810 people are estimated to be at Kasese Primary School, where they are receiving relief from government and other partners. So I want the country to know, when you see Red Cross teams giving kaonga, giving beans, giving blankets to our mothers who are traumatized, it is not that the government has taken a back seat just to watch humanitarian groups. The government is actually the captain of the process. Yet the Uganda Red Cross is worried about a possible outbreak of a waterborne disease in the area. Water washed away a number of latrines. That means the water, the, the flood water is actually contaminated already. And so if, as I saw, some people use this water for domestic purposes, then there's an actual risk of uh, transfer or, or of uh, spread of the diseases, the aerial diseases. The relief agency also needs at least 1 billion shillings to effectively implement their emergency plan. But as aid continues to come in, government has already started excavating the rocky grounds to divert the river back to its course. Working with the UPDF, we want to use some sandbag so that we can try to block the river from going through the hospital and those other areas, so that the river is artificially pushed back to its normal course. Meteorology experts are also warning of more rains for the next seven days. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.